Hello again. This is the Water Man. Now, I'm out of town, so I want to do just a little short one. I pre-recorded it, and it's, it's not very long. But, uh, to 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 22. Now, just like in a, a lot of people have a New Year's resolution, and they give up on it, uh, you know, maybe they miss a little bit, and the next thing you know, they just turn and go back to the old ways. You know, they don't do it no more. Oh, I forgot about that a long time ago. Okay? I'm going to name this one, just like you, Second uh, Peter chapter 2, verse 22. I think I've been spoke that once in here, but uh, it's Second Peter chapter 2, verse 22. I'm not going to go real in-depth on it, but I've got about six minutes or so on this recording, okay? It's a dog returns to its own vomit. Okay, here it goes. Hello again, this is the Watering Man. <coughs> now, I'm getting ready to take off, but I want to read a little bit of verse, and then I'll cover this stuff a little late, better later. But I'm just going to read a little verse in Second uh, Peter chapter 2. You really can read the whole thing. Oh my goodness. It's, don't just read it. And, read it. Study it. Green like God in those storms when the rubbers meet the road. And exist, exist, exist. And experience growing. And if you don't mind, put testimonies. Tell about it. What great goodness is coming out of it. Not that it's a do you, do you, do me. No, it's do me, do me. No, this is an opportunity for you to green like God. Stop eating your own poop or putting your own poop in your own pipe and smoking it. That poop that's in that little pipe, that refiner's pot, let God chop it out, skin out, chop that, circumcise that foreskin, that must be thinking. Suppress it, 
that stuff's going to give out. And once you really are, your red endemic blade is going to take over. you got to agree like God for him to sap it out and to be transformed. He gives, God gives the increase, not you. And, you know, that pig thinking or that dog thinking is going to turn to its own vomit and its own poop thinking, its own mire, its own cesspool of the car one. Don't do that. Let God burn that stuff up little by little by little and increase one to two to four to eight to sixteen in every little spot in you. Let God transform that darkness thinking, that ignorance of God's love into the love of God and the gratitude of God. Let him split that little ball and bring you up into nuclear fusion. Nuclear fission to nuclear fusion. Coming out of that lower red endemic way of thinking and up to God's higher, superior loving ways. Okay? Alright, I'm gonna take off. I love you. Uh, and I'll talk to you later. This is just a little short one. I'm doing uh, prior to heading out, okay? Um, I'll put this on recording later and I'll try to get in there because then that, that's deep, deep, deep. But you got to get it, get it, get it so you can work, work, work your way to God. Work out your own salvation, your deliverance to God. The only way you do that is by green lighting God. Your own big old hand, your works, that 666 nature, you can't rest in God trying to get you a big load of that manure thinking, your good and evil thinking, and showing that in your mouth and partaking of it. Doing it your way, having it your way, in this storm's life. Yeah, spew that stuff, vomit it with extreme disgust, ow. Okay? Have a great day, know that God loves you, and I love the Christ and everyone. Have a great day. Hit like, subscribe, give testimonies, comment on these things, give uplifting comments, subscribe, and all that stuff. Bye-bye. Okay, now, that was just a little short one, you know, you know we're, uh, <clears throat> get out doing things, how easy is it to just forget what manner of man you truly are, what your true identity in Christ is, if you don't watch it, you'll be like a false prophet or, or something and be Short back to your, like a dog returns to its own vomit. You'll go right back to your old carnal ways. When you start eating, and it's just like touching like an oil slick, a quicksand. Or there, if your own poop thinking, I can just touch my toe in it, and I'll be all right. My lifestyle, I'll just live a little bit in it. And the next thing you know, touch it, <laughs> it sucks you right in. Hold on, we can't get out of this thing. Like a New Year's resolution, I'll just miss it this one day, and then I'll pick it back up. Next thing you know, it's two, three days. Then for sure, nah, don't even, don't even do it no more. I don't even bat an eye at that anymore. I just lie, cheat, steal, kill somebody, throw rocks at them, cuss them out, whatever. Don't really matter. You return to your, like a, a female... Hog, a female pig, a sow, returns to its own vomit after it's been washed. You know, or like a dog vomits up, you know, that old yuck thinking, then goes over and eats it. Well, I thought it was, I thought it was bad, I vomited it up, and then I went over there back over to it and smelled it. I was kind of hungry. I needed some word of God, so I just ate that stuff right up. Now I'm just going around condemning everybody to hell. Anybody gets out of the way and doesn't believe it the way I do, I'll just dang on jam it down their throat. You're going to hell. You know, because God really lo loves you, but he, he hates you at the same time. He's going to torment you. And if he saves you, but he's going to tear up 90% of everybody else. That's making God a monster. Stop that vomiting.
stop returning to your own mire. Like an old female pig. An unclean animal that just eats it, swallows it down, so that's good enough. They're going in and condemning everybody is great news. Did you just hear that gospel I'm out there working every day? It's wrong thing. That's not the good news that God loves you. You just got a green light. Agree with them emphatically in all these trials, all this tribunal of this whole life. You know, in a tribunal, you're going through some stuff. But there's great reward. The greatest reward. God himself, the self-existing one. Just keep existing, existing, existing in God. All the days of your life. Don't return back to that vomit, that poop and stuff. No, regurgitate that word of God and feed on God like a clean animal. Like a cow has two stomachs, regurgitates it, and eats it again. Redigests it again. You're looking like a far off. Pray continually without ceasing. Take that thing captive. When it comes up and you're getting tired or tempted to do something again, well, I'm about to skip another day. But, uh, I'm, you know, I was going to do it your way, God, but I decided, well, today I'll take a day off. I'll do it my way in this time of life. Now, that doesn't work, does it? That's the old mire of the hog mud pit, so... Get in there and eat it. I was going back to you, Father God, like a prodigal son going home to Daddy God. And then I thought, well, I'll just play this little pig pen, eat my own slop, my pee, and my poop, and everything. What I thought was good and evil for at least a little bit. <laughs> Suck you right in there. Better stop that. Well, I thought, oh, man, I vomited up and was going on in God, and you know, I just kind of turned around my clock's wife and uh, thought I could save it a little bit and started eating that vomit. Bam, I was a pillar of salt, just like that. I couldn't walk no more, couldn't exist in God. I don't know what's wrong. You big dummy. You weren't faithful to God. Change your mind about that and go back to Father God. Again, that's not, uh, whenever you go back to God, keep existing, existing, existing. Like in uh, uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse uh, 9, where it's saying the things you do, uh, all this stuff. I bring it up and read it to you, but I, I can't I, I can't right now on this, and I don't have another Bible with me right now. Okay? But it's all these things you've seen and heard and all this stuff, in Christ, in God, do. That's proso. That word for do is proso. And it means habitually practice it. Keep it on. Don't take a day off and come back to some other crap. And I'll live down here in this pig pen today. Pretty soon you're just going to be laying in it. Or you're going to be over there eating your own vomit. Your own poopy thinking. And being satisfied in that. Or you think you're satisfied in it. But it's temporary. It's no good. It's no good. It's no good. Can you hear that gong going on? It's in your head going, it's wrong, wrong, wrong. This is not the right thinking of God. The right thinking of God. The right thinking of God. I'm not existing, existing, existing into the self-existing one. I'm taking a day off and I'm getting sucked right back down in that. Poop thinking, I'm relying on my own natural means. My own carnal means that is enmity directly opposed to me going too towards it into God. I'm putting a stop to living in God. Stop that stuff. Take everything captive and be obedient to God all the days of your life. As much as lies within you. Do everything as unto the Lord. Don't be a dog returning to its own vomit. <clears throat> and then go over and eat it. I thought I was giving up on that, but I changed my mind today and went back over here and now I'm just eating nothing but vomit. 
thought I was going to vomit up that stuff and go eat of God's word. But I decided I'll go back over to this vomit, this tree of my own knowledge of good and evil, the fruit from that. Huh? I thought I was going to go over to the tree of life and eat what God said. But then I re rethought that and went back over to that vomit and ate it up. <laughs> Whoops. You dumb dog. You sow. Huh? Calling you out. Because it can happen to any of us. Huh? No matter if you're a breathless, unborn child, a nepios, zero to a two year old, simple minded, immature, non speaking Christian, a padeon from a, a toddler to adolescence, like from a two or three year old in the natural to a maybe an 11, 12 year old. Just starting adolescence. And then from a 12 year old, not only ha a third of the way there, six years to 18, you're not an adult in Christ. Go from a 12 to a 30 year old. Six, six, six. You're getting rid of that stuff. It says, man, I know more than God. Then you're turning into a 30 year old. That's a weos. That's what it refers to Jesus as. A weos, a mature son. And then from a 30-year-old all the way to a 50, back to the pater, the father, father God. It's like existing, and that's the longest, like, uh, increment. Going from breakfast, like two or three years, or nothing. That's like the 19 months of pregnancy, right? The three trimesters. Then a zero to a two or three year old is at a nepios. That's that simple minded, immature, non speaking Christian. Thinks they know a lot, but don't know nothing. Can't even speak the love of God. And then the little kid, from about two or three year old up to about 12, up to adolescence. Mm -hmm. Say, so it's say from three years old to 12, that's nine years. Okay, and then from a 12-year-old all the way to a 30, getting rid of that 666 thinking. Once you're up there, that's the technon range, teenage years, like in a produced child. Then you're going from a produced child, from, you're becoming a, a weos, a mature son of God. A mature, a mature in the spirit, in the growth. With God, it, it doesn't matter about your necessarily your your natural age here on Earth. It does take time, but it just because you turn thirty doesn't mean you've reached any level. You can still be a breath loss. You can still be a seed, not even germinated in the womb. Okay, like a sperm or an egg in the spirit. Okay. You're still way separated. You're down to almost nothing, but there is something, a seed of Christ in you. Okay? Then coming all the way back into the pater. And that, between 49 and 50, is the year of Jubilee. That's the, all things are returning back to, to, uh, to the origin, back to Father God. We are originating God and go through our whole life, this tribunal, back to God. Oh, my goodness. Huh? Now, that was when we come up to a, a weos from 30 to 50. That's 20 years. That's the largest, longest time. And that's like we come up there and we're getting rid of all this 666, thinking all these younger Brefos, Nepios, Patiano, Technon is from a 12 to a 30. That's 18 years. That'd be three times eight. 666. Humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking in your mind, your forehead, and in your hand, your works. You're getting rid of that. Now, live it out. Like Jesus had, he did it three and a half years of ministry. He lived it out, exists out. That's the longest time. That's just perfect with no slips, no side steps, no errors. No natural person can do that. 
But as you dedicate yourself, you keep green and green and green. And no matter how tough it gets and all this, it's reassembling your mind. You're coming back on up. It's like you're coming up to that singularity and that funnel correction back through the black hole, back to that singularity. And then you're going through like a wormhole. All this natural reliance upon the 666, this natural matter, if you will. All this physical stuff here like in the earth that we think is real. And really it's mostly empty space. But we got to get rid of all this so-called real, this carnal, non-spiritual thinking. And then go through the wormhole. Because the only thing to do through that wormhole is just like the air, the vacuum, like the space. It's all Christ. And going through that and opening up the like vacuum of space to God's way of thinking. Totally. And it's existing. Like that 20 year thing. Or it's 20 like through the whole ages. It's like uh, Ministry and it's reflecting out of the, your existing life. Oh my goodness. Back to the Father, back to God's way of thinking. Oh man. And this is each and every, the deepest thinking part. The D1, D2, D3 depths in your mind. He's reassembling it, bringing it out, and shining it, the grace out for others, and the mercy, the compassion. Wow. That you only get what you agree with. Because when you die on this earth, all that dust thinking, that red thinking, that fleshy thinking, that vomit, that muck, mire, yuck, it turns to the earth from where it came. And whatever levels of that spirit of your thinking is lined up with God, returns to God who gave it. In that vacuum of space. Dust, muck, thinking, mire, 666, gone. And all the spirit returns to her father who gave it. Like in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 7. Ecclesiastes 6, 6. Ecclesiastes 3, 20. That's three places in Ecclesiastes. Where the wisest man, Solomon, spoke it. Wrote that down. For our learning and admon admonition, encouraging, strengthening, so we can utilize it in these storms of our lives and not turn back again, give up on it like a New Year's resolution and just forget about, oh, I was going to God, but I just dropped it like a bad habit because all this cares of the world entangled me, just sucked me in like a big bunch of poop. That mire, man, right back in that pig pen, I went. Or right back over to that vomit, man, I just slipped it, I just, I about lost it all. Thought I did. The cares of this world, all this riches and stuff out here, just, man, just bamboozled me, man, just a bleh. I'm just like dazed out. I couldn't look far off in the gun. I had to. Oh man, I'll be giving up all this new trucks, new cars, bigger houses, more money, money, money. The love of money is the root of all evil. It's not the money, not the wealth of that stuff. It's the loving it. Lusted after this vomit. Temporary, transitory stuff that's temporary and unsatisfactory at, all, at, at best. Don't return to the vomit like a dog. Don't return to your mire, to your muck, to your own cesspool of your carnal mind. Hmm? Like a sow, like a female pig. Huh? Come back in the God. Amen. 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 I sign on that contract all the days of my life in every way. I'm surrendering it all. It might take a little time sometimes. As you know, Jesus did it. He's a pattern son. He did it. 
This is the way, the truth, and the life. This is how you do it. Ow! Come back to God in all your ways. Hmm? Get up on that temptation to go eat that delicious vomit. Or down in that big old pig pen where you're all cleaned up now. Oh no, I gotta go back in the pig pen. <laughs> Eating the poop hot dogs and all kinds of stuff. Man, there's piss down in this thing, man. It's great. It's tangy. Don't be an old messed up pig. Or an old messed up dog in your mind, in your head. We're not talking about being a dog out here in the natural. I like puppy dogs. But we're talking about this here. Dog return to your own junk, your BS, your good and evil stuff. Like a dog. Have a great day. Hit like, subscribe, and tell people about the Waterman videos. Tell people about the love of God.